Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center for Application Release Management demo. In this demo, we will cover how to add a new infrastructure cloud provider for the application services. In prior videos, we demonstrated how to configure application blueprints. Application blueprints allow you to logically model an application once that can be deployed anywhere. So let's take a look at what is a deployment profile. Deployment profiles contain the routing instructions for how that logical model will be deployed. Each application blueprint can have multiple deployment profiles depending on how many different types of deployments it will have. Let's look at some examples of why you might need multiple deployment profiles. One obvious reason to have multiple deployment profiles it is if the application needs to be deployed in multiple cloud providers. Each cloud provider must have a unique deployment profile which describes the specific location and infrastructure template to be used and the location of the resource where the VM should be provisioned. Even if all of the applications will be deployed multiple times on the same cloud provider, you might want to create multiple deployment profiles to make sure the virtual machine are provisioned in the right resource location and use the appropriate templates which assures the right amount of resources and appropriate service levels for the tasks needed to be performed. Now let's talk about configuring a deployment profile starting by the navigation overview and the difference between the new and existing deployment profiles. The first step after you logged in to the application director is to select the application that you wish to create a new deployment profile for. In this case, we'll use the cluster Duke Spank application. Once inside the application, select the version of the application that you would like to create a new deployment profile for. In this case, we'll go ahead and select version 2.1. Notice that we already have two existing deployment profiles within this application. To create a new one, go ahead and click on the, the new button to create a new deployment profile. Here we'll provide a name to this new deployment. In this case, we'll call it production deployment. You can also go ahead and select from the two existing deployment profiles. Like we said earlier, you might want to do this in case you will want to select or deploy the application to a different cloud. We'll go ahead and do a new one for now. Once we click deploy, we get presented with the application environment or the deployment environment where we're going to deploy this as well as the cloud provider. We click the map details in order to map the template that we're going to be using to be deploying this specific application. Since this is a multi-tier application that contains a database, an app server, and a load balancer, we'll go ahead and select a template. We'll go ahead and select these three templates. Okay, we'll keep them exactly the same in this case. And we'll go ahead and click Next. Once we click Next, we're presented with having the ability to change the application properties. In this case, the CPU values. So we can go ahead and let's say we're going to increase the database CPU. We're going to increase perhaps the memory. Okay. And maybe perhaps if we want to the, add a custom host name. Notice that these fields are required. This customization is available for each of the nodes in the deployment. If nothing is selected, the default values will be used. We can also do any kind of values within the uh, service itself. So if we want to perhaps change a port for the database, okay, we want to specify a different port, we can do that. If we want to change some of the variables inside the application, okay, or the load balancer. 
there's also application component values that we could change as well. We'll go ahead and click Next. Once we click Next, the execution plan is present. We can zoom out and get a graphic representation, a 3D view, if you will, of what our execution plan is going to look like. So we can see here our three nodes, the applications inside our three nodes, and we can also take a look at the action scripts that are being performed inside each action. This represents a very clear view of how your application is going to be deployed within your cloud. We'll go ahead and click Next. Once we click Next, we get presented with a review of how our application is going to look like. Notice the changes that I made for the virtual CPU and the memory are added, as well as the changes on my database. At this point, we can go ahead and click Deploy. This will begin the deployment of the application that we have created. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was very informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.